the Fox News alert, a desperate search is on for a missing nine-year-old girl. Carly Trent was taken from Tennessee school by her uncle one week ago, and that uncle made some chilling purchases the day he took Carly. Public Information Officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, Josh Devine, goes on the record. Good evening, sir. Uh, first of all... Good evening, Greta. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for, uh, for being on and putting the spotlight on this. As I understand it, Carly was taken from, the school, from her school by her uncle. Is that correct? Exactly, and that happened one week ago today. So we are talking about one week that this girl has not been with her family, one week that this community has been searching for her, and one week that we've been trying to do everything we can to bring her home. Okay, well, he went to the school, he told a lie. He said they released a child to him because her father was in a car accident. Is that right? That's exactly right, and it, that was a lie. And it, so he obtained the child under false pretenses. Why would he do that? That is the million dollar question and we are working to try to understand exactly what the relationship looked like previously between Carly and Gary Simpson as part of our investigation to find them. All right, before he went to the school to pick her up, he made some purchases. Where did he go and what did he buy? Exactly. He went to Walmart where he purchased items that were consistent with camping, but he also purchased some apparel. He purchased a girl's bikini. He also purchased nail polish, lipstick a camping chair, a blanket, so some things that did not necessarily leave us with a comfortable feeling in the pit of our stomachs. When I was studying for this segment tonight, I read that he had custody of her for a while, that her mother has apparently flown the coop, she's nowhere to be found, and that her father, the reason why that he had custody for this child at some particular point, the uncle, was because the father was in prison or in jail, right? That's exactly right. The father did have some previous dr drug offenses, but had been re-given custody Back in 2015, the biological father had full custody, so this uncle, by marriage, incidentally, has no custodial rights to this child. What kind of car is he driving? What should we be on the lookout for? So we are looking for a white 2002 Dodge conversion van. It has a pretty easy-to-remember license plate, 173 GPS. A lot of us have GPSs, so we're encouraging people to kind of tuck away GPS in the back of your mind in case you see that on the back of a conversion van. It's not a caravan or a minivan. It is a conversion van, so a larger van is what we're looking for. Was there any indication prior to the, uh, to the taking the child from the school that he was going to do that? I mean, was he asking for the child or anything like that? No, not necessarily. All of these people live in close proximity. This is a family that is a pretty quiet family. They live a simple life here in Rogersville, which is a very rural town in East Tennessee. He has no criminal history, so there was really no inclination that he was going to do this when all of this occurred last Wednesday. Josh, thank you very much. And a reminder of the viewers, if you've seen this van, um, to call the police right away. And this missing nine-year-old girl um, uh, is in his custody. Anyway, thank you, sir.